On airline tonight, Stephen's endurance skills are put to the test. I've got a rush now, all my blood's running and I'm, I'm shaking now, it's all the adrenaline's pumping. Wow. For one Aussie plane spotter, it really is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Snow's the new thing for me, so... Have you ever seen snow before? Uh, not falling snow, no. Pretty neat. And things to do in Luton when stranded. I'm going to get drunk, I guess. There's nothing else to do. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic booze, there's a bar in Far Bombay. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. For check-in attendant Stephen Elwood, it's going to be one of those days. Yeah, and can you get them to form me straight away on the sales desk? Yeah, because we've got six LMGs for the Edinburgh on it. An incoming flight from Geneva has been slightly delayed. That means trouble for a group of passengers on board who need to catch a connecting flight to Edinburgh. I'll bring them round to check in. Right, I'm going to go to departures. I'm going to bring them round myself. I'll explain to them while we're running through that they have to leave the bags if they want to get on the flight. If you want to come through, I'm going to be about five minutes or so, OK? Stephen needs to get the passengers through arrivals and across to departures in time for the Edinburgh flight. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Everyone got your passports? Yes. All of you? Yeah? Yes. OK, we're going to have to walk really quickly now, please. Okay, where's your wife, sir? Is your wife there, yeah? OK, let's go. Angela? Yeah, I'll just sort of contact the names again because I can't remember. OK, no four of you here, yeah? One, two, three, four. No. OK, right, if you'd like to follow me all the way around, I'll take you to gate 22. Heathrow Airport. Luke Chittock has just flown 10,000 miles from Australia for a two-day holiday with a difference. Luke has a passion for planes and is planning to squeeze as many flights as possible into the next 48 hours. I come from Perth and uh, via Singapore. Uh, it's probably about 23 hours from the time I left home. Uh, and coming here just to have a good time flying, flying around to Amsterdam and uh, where else that might take me to. I, I keep a logbook, so uh, every bit of detail goes in my logbook. And uh, the registration is one important thing. And one of my aims is to try and get on every aircraft of the fleet of an airline. With two sectors, or flights, already under his belt, Luke will now spend his holiday flying EasyJet. Luke's first flight is from Luton to Amsterdam. Cabby Dave Sinclair has one hour to get Luke from Heathrow to Luton in time for his flight. What sort of music do you like, the Luke? Um... I hate opera. You hate opera? And I hate heavy rock. All right. What about, a, what, and... about a, what about a dance music? No, I don't like dance Too fast? Music. Yeah. OK. How about if you listen to the sound of a Boeing 747 engine roaring up? You know, well, would you believe I've actually got the CD of one of those of, aircraft, got, yeah. <laughs> of aircraft sounds? Oh, what, the extended version, yeah? Yeah, well, it lasts oh, okay. about 60 minutes. It's like, got takeoffs and, and sonic booms wow. and fighters. And... Yeah. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. All six of you got a boarding card. There's four there, one, two, three, four, five, six. OK, can I give you that to hold? Formalities out of the way, it's now a race against time for the Edinburgh passengers. Oh, God, you know, these are the things what I do like, enjoy doing. But actually doing them is like you rip your out. But once you've actually got it done, I'll feel good about myself because I'll go and sit down and think, oh, I've done them a favour. And hopefully they'll be able to remember me for what I've done for them. OK, okay I'll just have to call them up. Can everyone walk a bit faster, please? Got a rush now. All my blood's running and I'm, I'm shaking now. It's all the adrenaline's pumping. Okay. They should do. I've spoken to the dispatcher at the bottom of the aircraft steps and he said that he'd hold the plane. But we're going to have to get them on as quick as we can so that... <coughs> so it doesn't go, because it may just turn around and say we've waited too long. Luke has managed to check in for his Amsterdam flight just in time. But before he boards, there are a few details to collect for his logbook. 
Well, normally I check the registration, but uh, there's no registration on the front nose, so I'll have to try and look when we get back into Amsterdam. So, um, I've just TOD's top of descent, so okay. we've started our descent at 11.43 and uh, then we'll touch down time will fill in when we're on the ground. Not everyone in the airport is having such a good day. Back at the sales desk, Leona has her work cut out. Hello. Hiya. Is this easy, Jen? Yeah, it is. Oh, boy. <laughs> I want to get to Edinburgh. Have you booked got, a ticket? I got a ticket. On the later one, have you? Yes. Have you got your reference number on here somewhere? Oh, it's, I'm blind and I have to write like this. I get so many pieces of paper, I don't know one from another. Former actor Harry Richardson is booked onto the late Edinburgh flight, but he's hoping he can switch onto an earlier plane and save himself a five-hour wait. Did you buy a ticket? You no, I got a ticket. For this flight? No, for the 20 of 8. Oh, no, wait a minute. Is this a... Yeah. We'd have to pay to transfer onto this one, I'm afraid, and it's a lot more expensive. £90 extra. No, I yeah. only paid 80 for the whole trip. Yeah. You see, it's, this flight's practically fully booked. You paid £20 for your seat, they're now selling at £100. So you would have to pay the £80 difference plus £10 transfer fee. It's £90 extra. No, I'm not going to pay that. You're just going to hold on, are you? I can't pay that. I don't have it. <laughs> it's the policy, I'm afraid. The last few seats on the aircraft are at the top, top fare. That's how the price structure works. Boy, that's a hell of a racket. i better get in this thing. Yeah, I'll have to get in this thing. This sounds like good money. When I'm blind, I can't. Hey, thanks a million. Okay. So I have to pay £100 to get the... £90, unfortunately. This flight's really full today. That's why it's so much extra. Oh, yeah? When it's going good, that's when you hit them, right? <laughs> Sorry. Back in the terminal, Stephen has under a minute to get the Edinburgh passengers onto their plane. Everyone to gate 21, please. Excuse us, please. OK. Uh, and your plane's still sitting there waiting to go back to Geneva. There's your bags, but we'll get those off to you later, OK? Bike chef, bother to stop Oh, the sorry. Van. No, it's sorry. OK. I didn't honestly think that they'd wait. I'm ever surprised that they waited. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank, Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Don't worry about your bags. We'll get them taken to your house yeah. tonight, OK? Right. Hope oh, you have a nice flight. And get, have a quick pint on board, OK? Now, doing that is why I love my job so much. They'll remember me for that. Amsterdam. Canals, tulips and red-hot entertainment. For Luke, though, there's much more to see at the airport. We could go out into the arrivals area, but um, it's more to see sort of um, air side, which means on the um, sort of customs, once you've gone through customs side. So just go for a little wander and have a look. It's a pretty big airport. Luke set his heart on a bit of aircraft viewing. It's not the best spot, but there's some aircraft in, there's no blinds, so we'll stay here for a while and see how it goes. Just sort of the goings on, the operations of an airport, so just anything and everything's good. Yes, look what they've done. No more viewing from here, so it's off somewhere else. Three hours later, though, Luke is tempted to leave <laughs> the airport. Snow's the new thing for me, so... Have you ever seen snow before? Uh, not falling snow, no. Pretty neat. Would you rather be inside the airport or outside the airport? Uh, I think inside for the time being. It's fun though, snow. Or hmm. well, I just want to check it out again. Wow. Yeah, it's at a... The icing to the cake, that's it. Although the cake's not finished yet. At Luton, veteran Hollywood actor Harry is going to chance his luck again. Where's your makeup man? <laughs> he may have toughed it out with Bogart, but it's going to take one hell of a performance to get on the flight without paying the extra £90. Hey, Deborah. Hey, what's your surname? How are you doing? Richardson. Mr. Richardson. H for Harry. Have you just had your flight transferred, sir? Yes. You have, okay. Who changed your flight? Was it the sales desk? 
Because uh, on here, we've got you going on this, on the 20th. I'm supposed to go later. One. Yeah, I want to go this way. Can I go this You way? certainly can. We've yeah. got spaces available. Let me have a look on the system for you. Welcome to Edinburgh. Okay. We've got quite a cheap fare as well yeah. for your flight. Um, 20 past four. I think it's going to cost you about £30 to transfer onto this one. If you go and speak to Leona, no, she I'll might... No, I'll pay the 30 I'll give it to you. Yeah? Okay, if you pop over and speak to Leona, yeah. she'll be able to transfer, transfer to you onto this her. one. You do, yeah, because we were not Which one is she? Time. Not that blonde, does she? Yeah, it's She's a blonde one. She's the meanest bitch I've ever <laughs> we, If you've got a card, a credit card, we can pop it onto that. Yeah. Yeah? All right, unfortunately, you're going well, to have to speak with to her. She told me she wanted 90 pounds. 90 pounds. I said, what, what did you do? Have a fight with your husband or what? Oh, well, yeah, she's, she's probably not. looked on her system and it probably is going to be 90 then, as she has more up-to-date information well, so you're than I do. Right? I mean, God damn it, that's a good ticket, right? It is a good ticket. I 70 can't quid wait return. till 20 of 10. I'll never get a taxi home. I'll have to take a hotel and everything. You can't, come on, can't you? Can't I you? haven't got any um, passwords to transfer you, sorry. All you can do is just see if you can chat her up for a couple of nice lines, see if she'll transfer you. I but can't it's, talk it's to highly unlikely. One. She's a shit bird. <laughs> Has she rattled your cage? She, she turned me down flat. I mean, she's a real shit bird. I'm very sorry oh, about that. <laughs> but Harry's prepared to try one last desperate gambit to get on the flight. I'll take you to dinner. If you... <laughs> I only eat smoked salmon and lobster. Brian. I don't care, that's that what I like. That's more than 90 quid. <laughs> it's cheaper for you to go on this flight than it is to buy me dinner. <laughs> All right. All right, then. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, thanks a million. We'll come back and he'll have a whinge later on, but he'll be happy again. We'll sort him out, bless his heart. Eh? He just wants to get home, or if, wherever he's going to. I'm going to get drunk, I guess. There's nothing else to do. Right? Where's the bar? Flight number five, and Luke's on target for his mission. He's now been awake for almost 48 hours. Liverpool Airport is new territory for Luke. Good little terminal, small, old, but uh, nice. Things that annoy me today is everything's running on time or early. And when you pay your money, you want, for me, I want a longer flight. I want delays and things, so it's just not happening. Very disappointing. Time for another flight. G'day, can I check in for the Luton flight, please? What's your surname? Chidok, C-H-I. Yeah. Any bugs to check in today? No, just hand luggage. I, I just uh, keep a logbook and I was wondering if you could tell me who the captain is. The captain today is Neil Pearson. And do you know what the registration is? Yeah, well, this is Yankee Papa. Papa. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Thanks very much. All right, it's a pleasure. Ta. Thanks. Another one for the book. Flight six, back to Luton. It's Luke's last EasyJet flight of the day. Yeah, I've been on three different uh, EasyJet aircraft today, so hopefully tomorrow we'll get two different aircraft. What are you going to do now? So now go back to the hotel and go to sleep. I think, think I deserve a nap. Hi, flying to Geneva. Unfortunately, at the moment, there's a two-hour delay on your flight. That's due to arrival of the inbound aircraft from Geneva. The forgotten passport is a common problem in any airport, and today is no exception. Malcolm Irving hopes his wife will bring his before the delayed flight leaves. I've left my bag with the um, passport in. Got everything else, but not the passport. I could go without it, but... Uh... So we're quietly panicking while she's on her way. It's just merely a matter of uh, time, and with eight minutes to go, it's um, getting a little bit close. Well, I'm booked on. I'm, uh, I'm all right, Jack, so um, I'm flying off to uh, on my skiing holiday. Uh, I'm all right, Jack. <laughs> oh, we'll be all right. The delayed Geneva aircraft has now landed. In less than half an hour, it will leave, and Malcolm is beginning to feel anxious.
Can't get through on the mobile. I have to wait and see. At Luton Airport, there's a hold-up at departures. Stephen is going to investigate. I've seen a big queue before, but I've not seen one as big as this before. <laughs> is there only the one machine working? No, two machines. All right. Nice. Back in Liverpool, Malcolm gets a call from his wife. Oh, she's ringing. Hi. Here she comes. Great, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> One very good driver. <laughs> see the ticket, probably. <laughs> All right, I'll see you. Okay, thanks, bye. dear. Bye. bye. <laughs> We've done it by the skin of our teeth. Yes, with uh, barely a minute to spare, I think. But Malcolm and Andrew are not out of the woods yet. At Luton Airport, Stephen is delighted to discover the cause of the hold-up. All I know is that they appeared in departures. A passenger tried to get them on an aircraft today to take them to Mallorca. Um, and, but they couldn't. They were in a tiny little plastic tub about this big. And um, I instantly thought, I'm going to have one of those. So I've christened this one. This one's mine. And he's called Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> Supposedly what had happened was um, they walked through to the main departure gate, put them through the x-ray machine, the security saw them, and um, we had to disclaim them off the passenger today. And the passenger left them and they jumped on the plane and off they went. I didn't see them getting disclaimed, but I don't think they would have been too impressed because they're quite rare pets to have now. And you need licenses for them. I think it's great. <laughs> Really, I'd, I've always wanted one and I've got one now, so I'm chuffed and I'll look after him. It's very nice. Luke has just arrived for the last day of his flying holiday. He's about to take his seventh flight, this time to Barcelona. But the air miles are catching up on him. Yeah, I was reasonably exhausted. Had about six hours sleep, I think, so that's enough. Recharge my battery's ready to go. Looking forward to today is uh, going to Barcelona. It's a new airport for me. I've got uh, about um, two and a half hours in Barcelona, so I think I think I'll just stay at the airport again. Maybe go outside and see uh, how hot it is. See what the local people look like and stuff. Leave it like that, I think. <laughs> Luke has asked to go onto the flight deck to meet the captain and take in the view. Yeah, nice view of the Pyrenees there. Oh, wow. It's qu quite a neat little airline. Everything runs on time. <laughs> Seems to be reasonable. <laughs> OK, see you later. Cheers. Bye. We get people who have logbooks who like to, to log their normal flying, but they're only just going on normal holidays and things. They don't. I haven't met too, too many people that actually make a practice of it, I must say. Yes. But, uh, yeah, good for him. Barcelona, city of culture, famous for its architecture and beautiful women. But Luke's got other priorities. Well, it's uh, Sunday here in Barcelona, 18 degrees, and nice and sunny, a bit, bit different from uh, Amsterdam, so... I think I'll just go up to the departures area and, uh, and have a little look up there now. Meanwhile, back in Liverpool, the missing passport panic may well be over for Malcolm and his friend Andrew, but they're still waiting to board their delayed flight. There's yet another problem with the Geneva-bound aircraft. Now a Swiss stewardess has collapsed in pain and the paramedics have been called in to investigate. I can't comment on, on, a, on a condition at all. Well, We've been now told is one of the stewardess's eardrum, eardrums has blown. She's on her way to our local hospital. Um, and we're just waiting for Easy Ops to tell us whether or not um, the plane can uh, legally fly with two cabin crew or whether we have to get another cabin crew 
from standby to actually work the flight. As you heard, it's now gone indefinitely delayed. Um, what we keep doing now is just keep making um, further information announcements every half hour, keep all the passengers informed, and then we'll see what happens. I'm still not sure exactly what's happening myself. Well, there's the ultimate irony that after all that angst of uh, waiting for the last two minutes, we're now delayed 15 minutes, then 30 minutes, and now we're indefinitely delayed. So, all for nothing, dear. EasyJet, we're to the boys' passage, travelling on flights EZY. <laughs> <laughs> it gives you confidence, doesn't it? <laughs> hey. All right, OK, I may as well stay here. Yeah, if you can give it to her once she's given the money to Michelle. Cheers, mate, bye-bye. Back at Luton, it's been a long day uh, and Stephen's that? halo is slipping. Yeah. All right, then, cheers, bye. OK, you're lucky this time, gents. Where have you been? Yeah, where, why did you just stroll up like there was not a care in the world? Your flight's closed now. Okay. Go straight to gate number 11 in the international departures. So All right, much. thank you. Quick as you can, please. Yep, yeah. bye-bye. It's not even boarding yet. Oh, I'm vicious. Flight number eight brings Luke back to Luton. It's the last EasyJet flight of his holiday. A bit, bit sad it's ending, but um, can always come back again, hey? A bit like a second home, Luton, now. So I will have done um, six, uh, 10 sectors by the time I get home to Perth, and probably about 40, no, about 50, 50 hours or so flying. It's a, it's a real holiday to remember, absolutely. After a three hour delay, Malcolm and Andrew made their holiday. The stewardess made a full recovery. And since Luke went back to Perth, he's managed 40 more flights, bringing his total to 550. In fact, he's probably on an airplane right now. <laughs>